Hi guys, Aris, Hardware Busters. EVGA's new P6 line consists of four models ranging from 650W to 1000W. All are based on a modified C-Sonic Focus Plus Platinum platform with an extra circuit providing hybrid hardware and firmware over pro power protection OPP. An analog IC handles hardware OPP and an MCU is responsible for the firmware OPP. The first is designed to trip when power output exceeds 135% for a few nanoseconds, while the latter trips once power exceeds 125% for more extended periods in the millisecond range. The new generation GPUs have some nasty power spikes and through this hybrid OPP, the P6 and G6 EVGA PSUs can cope without shutting down, while at the same time they offer good protection to sustained high loads. Like its big brother, the 850P6 has super compact dimensions measuring only 140mm in depth. The warranty is long at 10 years and the FTB cooling fan won't have a problem outliving it under normal operating conditions. Lastly, the PSU is rated Platinum in 80 plus and Cybernetics and it is also rated as Cybernetics Standard++, plus plus, meaning 30 to 35 decibels average noise output. This is a fully modular PSU, price $150. Power specifications, we have a single 12 volt rail which can deliver the unit's full power alone and up to 120 watt maximum combined power on the minor rails. There are enough connectors to allow the PSU to deliver its full power without problems including 2 EPS, 6 PCI Express, 9 SATA and 4 4 pin Molex connectors. A Berk adapter is also provided for those of you with vintage parts like floppy drives. Cable length is satisfactory, but the distance between the peripheral connectors is short at 100mm. Lastly, there are no in cable caps, making the cables less flexible and bulky, and only the two PCI Express cables with two connectors each use thicker 16AWG gauges. Internal design the PCB is small, so it is overpopulated. With more space between parts, the airflow will be better and the fan wouldn't have to spin at high speeds to remove the heat. Compared to the original Seasonic platform, EVGA's unit features an MCU, which besides the firmware OPP, as EVGA calls it, also handles over temperature protection and controls the fan's speed. A wire now is used for an NTC thermistor that provides information to this MCU hosted on the same daughter board with the DC-DC converters. I don't like the look of this wire, they should have done it some, something different there, but apparently this would require a total PCB uh, redesign, which is costly. The filtering caps are by Japanese manufacturers and besides electrolytic caps, we also find many polymer ones. Soldering quality is good, something expected from Seasonic, and the cooling fan, typically it's a Honghua uh, using a fluid dynamic bearing so it will live for quite long. Protection features. EVGA states that it has two different OPP triggering points. I only managed to activate one of them, hardware OPP. OCP is set high on all rails, especially at 12 volt, And OPP is also set high, allowing the PSU to deliver 1200 watt before shutting down. To be more precise, 1210 watt before shutting down, which is quite a lot for an 850 watt PSU. Some infrared shots, the temperatures inside the PSU with a 425 watt load for 10 minutes without active cooling are normal. Uh, similar to the 1000P6 model, the hardest parts are the 12 volt heatsinks and the area around the standby controller. Performance. Load regulation is tight at 12 volt and satisfactory at 5 volt. However, it is pretty loose at 3.3 volt, where the platform didn't perform well as the similar capacity G6 unit. Someone could say that I measured on a loose pin but I tried all 3.3 volt pins on the ATX connector and I found the one providing the best load regulation.
Ripple suppression is excellent on all rails. Transient response is not great, especially at 3.3V, where the PSU failed in several tests. The hold-up time is longer than the required, which is 17 milliseconds, and the power OK signal is accurate but lower than 16 milliseconds. Inner's current is high with 230 volt input. EMI suppression, there are 7 EMI spikes with the AVG EMI detector, all within 338 and 855 kHz. With the peak EMI detector, everything is fine though. Average efficiency is satisfactory, still the competition scores better in this regard. Five VSB rail now. It's not efficient, and this is not good, of 
course, Seasonic must upgrade the 5SB circuit in its focus platform and provide this upgrade in the EVGA units as well. The APFC converter needs tuning, especially with 230V input. Regarding noise now, the fan speed profile is aggressive, leading to over 30 dBA average noise output. What makes an impression here is that the less efficient 850G6 scores better in noise output. Overall performance is low and lower than the 850G6, which of course is not acceptable. Bottom line, you cannot call bad or even mediocre the EVGA Supernova 850P6, but it is a massive letdown that not only does it score lower than the 850G6, but it is also noisier too. Given the higher efficiency, I expected better performance and lower noise output. Seasonic has to tune this platform more to show its full potential and becomes more competitive. Till this happens, I cannot recommend it since at the same price you can get the Thermaltake Tough Power PF1850 which offers almost 4% higher overall performance. The build quality of the 850P6 is high and the extra long warranty is a huge asset, there is no doubt about that. But these two features are also present in the less expensive 850G6 unit and at the time of the review, the price difference between these two products was $50. This makes the purchase of the 850G6 a no-brainer. EVGA should rethink its pricing schemes for the G6 and P6 lines and push Seasonic to make some changes in the latter line to improve performance. It is high time for new platforms, which will be also compatible with the upcoming ATX version 3 spec and the new GPUs of course. Pros, full power at 47 degrees Celsius, efficient, good build quality, tight load regulation at 12V, long hold up time, low in the current with 115V input, not noisy at normal operating conditions, fully modular, loads of connectors, compatible with the alternative sleep mode, compact dimensions and the 10 year warranty. Cons, not competitive overall performance, noisier than the less efficient 850G6 model, transient response should be better, high inner current with 230V input, not efficient 5SB rail, some EMI spikes, the APFC converter needs tuning and the small distance between connectors. I hope you enjoyed uh, today's review. Like, comment, subscribe if you have any questions at all just leave them in the comment section and i will try to reply to all of them uh, we also have the patreon page if you want to support us because we do so much hard work keeping up with both english and greek channels and that is all till the next review bye bye